how are you? Welcome back to my channel for a video that I am so excited about. I have always wanted to do one of these videos. I've never felt worthy and I said, you know what? Screw that. <laughs> Whenever you feel like you're not worthy of doing something means you should lean into it and you should try to do it. So I am going to try a whole new type of video, new type of format, and I am going to do a little like 2020 lookbook of styles that I'm loving right now, pieces, outfits, ways to style things, things that I feel like are that good wardrobe staple and a good way to transition between the winter months and the spring months. I don't know, I'm just so excited. So I'm gonna show you a handful of outfits and how I style them with other pieces, why I do it, why I love it, and then as many things as possible. I've held on to some things for quite a while, but I also have some newer things. I'll try to link as much as I can down below for you as well if you like any of these things. Also, before jumping into this video, I am filming this two weeks in advance. I might already be there, I doubt it, but I am really, really getting close to 50K and I'm so excited about it. And I have a huge giveaway, actually. Can you see some boxes back there? <laughs> I always sit just perfectly to block them. <laughs> I have a huge giveaway planned whenever I hit 50k, so if you want to be a part of it, and if you enjoy hanging out with me as much as I enjoy hanging out with you, and you want to subscribe, then I would love that. It'll help us all get to that quicker, and maybe, maybe you'll be one of the lucky people that get a box of goodies. Without further ado, let's jump into some cute outfits that I'm loving right now. I'm so excited. <laughs> First, we're starting off with these fun, loose white pants. I love how high-waisted they are. They just have a fun, minimalistic, retro vibe. And I am tucking a new white sweatshirt that I got. Actually, both these things are from Zara, so the shades of the white coincide. They're kind of like an off-white cream, but I love the white-on-white -white look. And since this is a very minimal outfit, I'm gonna play around with layering a couple necklaces. One of these is from Missouri. I'll link it down below. One was from a subscription box, but just a couple gold necklaces layered on top really make an outfit and then I'm adding on some heels with a pop of white as well to kind of keep that white on white on white theme going it's the little details that really make it pop but together I just think it's such a fun outfit it really kind of looks like it's intended to be together and it's almost like an upscale take on a sweatsuit in a way since you have the loose fitted light color exact same on the top and bottom Next, we're gonna go with something a little more casual daytime. I have this shirt that I got from Ruli and I love the stitching across the front of it. And these pants, I call my Kim Possible pants. I'm mad they're a little bit big on me. I need to get them taken in, but it has the same similar silhouette as the last pants where they're loose and they taper at the ankle. I'm gonna make this a little more sophisticated by adding some statement earrings to the look. I'm kind of going for an anthropology vibe because I think the stitching on this is very anthropology. And there's an olive green in the stitching, so I'm going to mirror that by using olive green heels at the bottom. I feel like if Kim Possible wore heels, she would wear olive green heels. <laughs> So the heels with the pants really elevates this outfit for me. I feel like this is an outfit that's kind of for all ages. I could picture a cute mom wearing this or even like a trendy high school girl wearing this. It's very flattering for all ages. Next is a dress. I got this dress from Ruli as well. I really love their clothes. I'm like very surprised at how high quality everything feels. And this neckline I am obsessed with. Come to think of it, quite a few of the things in this video are from Ruli. This dress is just so flowy and simple and elegant elegant, so I'm going to do some very simple and elegant jewelry. I don't want to distract from the neckline by doing any sort of large necklace, so just some dainty earrings. I'll link those down below, and these are also from a jury, believe it or not. I'm so glad clogs are coming back into style. Kaylise turned me on to clogs. She wears them all the time. She even wore them for her wedding, and I think that they're such a fun little girly, yet almost like bohemian way to spice up an outfit. They're fun with jeans. They're fun with dresses. This, to me, is like a Sunday stroll at the farmer's market kind of outfit. A little bit girly, but fun. And I really wanna show off this neckline, so I'm gonna do something a little bit funky. I'm gonna do these little pigtails where I wrap a ponytail around my hair and pull my hair halfway through making a bun. And I wrap my remaining hair around the ponytail to hide it and I tuck it in. And it creates almost like these little dog ears in a way, but it's just something fun and different and it shows off the neckline. And I'm gonna repeat that on the other side. I think that this is just kind of quirky cute. I like it, it fits the dress. It could be a little bit like a 
old timey, what do you call those? Like milk maiden? Is that a word? <laughs> but hopefully in a cute 2020 vibe. I think that this outfit is the most like me. Next, I am so in love with these kind of like utilitarian jumpsuits. I'm so thrilled that these are coming in style. I have seen them everywhere amongst my friend groups. This one is so fun. I love the stitching on it, how it's this dark kind of orange color. And I really wanna play up this utilitarian vibe by putting my hair in a high pony. Cause when you're on the job, your hair is up, you know? It's just subtle, but it's cute. And I'm gonna make this a little more street by some big statement gold hoop earrings. This is going to really help elevate the outfit, obviously make it a little more approachable for everyday wear, a little less like a uniform. <laughs> Make sure that pony is nice and high. And I'm going to kind of make this a little bit edgy by adding these boots. I love these boots because they're almost like a more refined version of Doc Martens. So I could pair this with heels for a more nighttime look, but for a daytime look, I'm going a little bit grungy, a little bit edgy, and I'm gonna wear it with these boots. All together, I love this look. I actually wore this outfit to my church last Sunday, and this was the most compliments I think I've ever gotten on an outfit. And then then once it was time for the evening, I actually put a long black turtleneck underneath to keep it warm. It was a little bit out of my comfort zone, but it kind of weirdly worked. Last but not least, this outfit is the most like me. This sweater I just bought from Madewell. I love the stitching on the shoulders, so comfy. And these pants are pants that I also recently bought from Madewell. I love how high-waisted they are. These are the perfect vintage jeans. I think that they're flattering, especially on the back half of me. They do kind of stretch out as the date goes on. On, which is a little bit annoying to me, but as far as the rise, the wash, and the fit goes, they're one of my favorite pairs, even though they stretch out. I am going to show you how I French tuck my shirts. I poke just the very center of a shirt into my pants, and then I pull it loose, tucking the rest of the hem kind of underneath, so it has almost like a high-low to it. You don't wanna tuck too little or too much of it, or else it's gonna look kind of odd. Last, I'm going to follow up with a statement necklace. This is a kind of plain Jane neckline, so I can really spice it up with something large and fun. And as an everyday look, I'm gonna put my hair into a low bun, pulling out a couple pieces to make it more casual and relaxed. These boots I bought two years ago at Nordstrom Rack, they're real leather and they're somehow still in style. I think a good staple pair of Chelsea boots will last you a long time. I wear them all the time and I'm wearing it with the jeans. I will say that I think raw edge hems are probably on their way out here in 2020, which makes me sad. I see them less and less around LA, but I still love them with these boots. I'll milk it for as long as I can get. This is a completed outfit. This is very much what I would wear day to day, running errands, running around town, maybe stopping, getting coffee with a friend on the way. I'm obviously feeling myself in this outfit. <laughs> it's very McKellish, a little bit comfy, a little bit cute, a little bit of everything. It's not trying too hard. It's just relaxed. I really feel like myself in this outfit. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below what you thought of the format of this video because I know it's a completely different format. If you like it, I would love to do these like maybe once a season or so. So let me know and maybe we can make this a thing. I love you so much. Thank you for hanging out with me per usual. I hope you have the best rest of your day and the best rest of your week, and I will see you in a video very soon. Bye.